Oh, why, uh, hello there. Fancy seeing you here on this one October 24th, which is a Tuesday, which means it's Two Minute Tuesday, which means, uh, let's get started. What's up, everybody? Peter McKinnon here, and welcome back to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. It's so great to have you here and see all of your smiling faces. And today's topic, we are gonna tackle how to be a better editor, how to speed up your workflow, essentially how to make Premiere Pro your that's right, I said it. This particular episode, I'm super pumped about. I'm gonna teach you guys a technique that I love and love using. It's to do with editing B-roll. Some of you may know, but some of you may not, but we're gonna talk about automating your clips to sequence to speed up the entire workflow when you're editing stuff together because time is money. And sometimes getting things done fast and efficiently within your editing software, whatever that may be, is the key to moving on to the next project and being able to deliver content on a consistent basis. So let's open up Premiere Pro, throw two minutes on the clock, and let's begin. So sometimes when you're editing B-roll sequences, you want to edit to the beat, you want to edit to the music, and sometimes trying to place those clips on by dragging them from your bin to the timeline can be time consuming, it can be a little bit tedious. So there's a super fast, super efficient, super awesome way to do it, and I'm gonna show you right now. So let's jump into the computer, whoop, and take a look at this. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is drag whatever track you're gonna use onto the timeline. This is what we're gonna use to set our markers, which is in turn gonna make us be able to edit to the music. So before we get started on this, we gotta make sure that your keyboard shortcuts are the same as mine. So go up to Premiere Pro, click on keyboard shortcuts, and make sure that that M key is set to add marker. If it's not, you can type that in right here, add marker, drag that over to the M key. It'll set that hotkey for a marker shortcut cut, hit okay, good to go. So come on over to your B-roll folder where you have all of your clips stored. And what you're gonna wanna do is set in and out points for every clip that you have. That just means the clip is gonna start playing where you want it to play and it's not gonna play past where you don't want it to play. So go through all of your clips and set those in and out points using the shortcut I for in and O for out. Okay, so here's the fun part. You're gonna let your playhead scrub through that timeline. You're gonna let it go. As you start to hear the beats where you want the cuts, you're just gonna hit M. You're gonna wanna do that on any beat that you wanna cut. Super simple, goes a little something like this. So we've just dropped some markers on the timeline to the beat with the rhythm that we have. Now we're gonna select all the B-roll clips that we have in our bin. So go ahead and select that first clip, scroll to the bottom, hold shift and click the bottom one to highlight them all. Go up to clip, automate to sequence. Now make sure this placement is not at sequentially, but at numbered markers. Then hit okay, boom, drops your clips in right on the marker beats that you selected. Now when you play that back, everything is perfectly edited to the music based on the markers that you dropped on the timeline. It's fast, it's efficient, it's fun, it's a really great way to add those B-roll clips to your project when you wanna edit to music, and that, folks, is your Two Minute Tuesday. So hit that like button if you like this video, smash it if that's something that you're into, subscribe if you aren't already, and, and I will see you guys next week. Also, check out these new hats. The brim, super cool.